State Representative Josh Kale. We are at St. Francis of Cabrini, a polling place. They are meeting and greeting and his lovely bride, their children. She's a big influencer when it comes to the Republican Party of Beaver County. And there's this field of momentum amongst those who are supporting Donald Trump that it's going to be a big finish for him once these polls close tonight at 8 o'clock. So let me ask you, Josh, where did the momentum really start to begin that everyone's talking about when it comes to Donald J. Trump? I think about three or four weeks ago, we started really feeling on the ground. I think it's been there really since July 13th. I think that really started it with the assassination attempt. And then the Democrat Party was kind of in disarray for a while. And there was like that sugar high, then it went away. And and then people started really considering the candidates. And I think they saw the substance of President Trump and the lack thereof of Vice President Harris. I mean, she flipped on so many of her positions that matter very dearly to, to people in Pennsylvania on uh, energy issues, on Second Amendment issues, on immigration issues, on economy issues. She, she was one thing and then all of a sudden she became another. And I think people see through that. I think people are looking at the consistency of President Trump. He may not always uh, speak the most eloquently, but you know where he's at, you know where he stands. I, pe I think people uh, appreciate that, uh, but you gotta finish. And right now, I've always said that if President Trump is gonna win Pennsylvania, he needs a strong turnout in the collar counties around Pittsburgh. Um, and right now in this precinct, I mean, we're looking at, we're heading into 85, 90% territory uh, as far as turnout goes, which is great. It's a great sign for Republicans. We're pleased. It's anecdotal. It's just one precinct. There's a lot of other places out there. People got to get out to vote. And we got to make sure that everyone's voting because, you know, the Democrats are very organized and uh, they will be doing everything that they can uh, to, to win the state as well. So. I feel good about where we're at in Pennsylvania, and I think the nation's going to go the way that Pennsylvania does. So looking forward to seeing the results tonight. All right. So State Representative Josh Kale and I, we are at St. Francis of Cabrini. Obviously, Catholic faith, abortion, uh, reproductive health, a very important part of this campaign. We know what Donald Trump thinks. I know what you think. You have eight beautiful children. So talk to me about the importance of yeah. the Republican Party point of view. The framework of that issue has really changed. I mean, uh, we used to be uh, the framework of pro-life and pro-choice. And, and now what pro-life means is something different than what it used to mean. Uh, and, you know, most, if not all, of the Republican Party broadly at least believes in exceptions and some exceptions within. And maybe there's a reduction in, in the weeks and all that stuff. But um, what, what I am surprised about, just broadly speaking, is the Democrat Party is no longer pro-choice. They're pro-abortion where they never advocate for women to have the baby. They're always advocating for the abortion option. We ought to be providing choices for women. We ought to be providing funding for women that do want to have the babies. Uh, and we ought to be celebrating life. Um, we all ought to at least agree that it ought to be rare. Um, and even Bill Clinton used to say that, safe, legal, and rare. And now it seems as though the Democrat platform is on demand whenever and however. And I just don't think that's where the nation is right now. All right, let's get back to the economy. There's a man running for Congress on the Republican ticket going up against incumbent Chris Deluzio, Mr. McCurry, who is, I understand, yeah. like you and me, all in on the Nippon U.S. steel deal needing to get done. Do you think he has a puncher's chance in this election? It's definitely an uphill battle. It's a tough district. Rob McCurry is an excellent, disciplined candidate. He's a West Point grad. I serve with him. Um, he is an honorable man. When he decided to run for U.S. Uh, Congress, I, I was actually upset with him because I don't want to lose him in the State House of Representatives. I, he is that kind of guy. Um, we, we are going to miss him. I'm looking forward to working with him when he was, does get in the Congress. I, it's, it's, a tough, it's a tough fight, but he certainly has a shot. Well, speaking of the military, another man that is a veteran as we approach Veteran Day, a day uh, Mr. McCormick, uh, yeah. up against Senator Casey. And they're saying that this one is really going neck to go down neck, the wire. Neck and neck. I've heard a lot about the internal polling there. Some of his uh, consultants are also people that, that I uh, talk to quite often, and, and I've heard a lot of good things about that. But again, it's a tough race. The Casey name, big name in, in Pennsylvania. But I, I have to tell you, uh, Dave McCormick has run an admirable race. That man has uh, just put out a lot of energy uh, in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania for the Republican brand, for the Republican Party. 
ought to be very proud of the effort, the disciplined campaign that he has run. I think it's been very well executed. And I think it's put him in a position, uh, a good position heading into election night. All right. So uh, the other thing about the economy, that's the key. And But we have to start to thinking about how we can work together moving forward. You and I, big advocate of manufacturing. We talk all the time about yeah. natural gas and Royal Dutch Shell. How can we in Harrisburg from the state Senate, you got Elder Vogel up for re-election. He has done incredible work in the way of manufacturing and helping agriculture, being a former dairy farmer. But how can the state Senate and the state legislators figure a way to get on the same page about growing the economy? Yeah. Because of recent census numbers, Allegheny County and others are losing population, and that has to stop. So how do we come together? You know, I, I think there's really an opportunity here. I think what you're seeing in campaigns, what you're seeing with rhetoric, even at the presidential level, but especially Governor Shapiro's uh, rhetoric, what he supports, he talked about expediting the corporate net income tax. He seems to get it. He talked about tax reform. He talked about perming reform. He talks about competing with Ohio and West Virginia. He talks about the regional greenhouse gas initiative being the wrong time to do now for Pennsylvania as an exporter of energy. He talks about a lot of these things. Personally, I don't think we should be talking about competing with Ohio and West Virginia. We ought to be talking about dominating Ohio and West Virginia. We have the natural resources. We have the access to market. We have the resilient workforce. We have the access to capital. We just need political courage in Harrisburg to stop talking about these things and start doing these things. And once we retake the House majority in, in the House of Representatives, we will start doing. And if we got to be the political courage in Harrisburg, we'll be there to be the political courage in Harrisburg. All right. So how close do you think it'll be gut feeling? And why do you think Donald Trump will win? I think in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I think he'll win by a point and a half, Ooh. the two points. I think I, I, I feel as though Kamala Harris is too far left for the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Um, you had Joe Biden, um, who was perceived as a blue collar guy, Scranton roots, Delaware market. So he, he had some uh, name ID just inherent in it. Um, the internal polling that I'm seeing has uh, President Trump outperforming anywhere from four to nine points in the seats that we're paying attention from 2020. Mm -hmm. So the difference is the one election had Biden on the ticket and the other election had Harris on the ticket. Now, we're not polling all over the state. We're just polling in key areas of the state. So it's anecdotal because we're just looking at state house seats. But uh, I think he's I think he's well positioned. I think he's going to have a good day so long as people turn out the vote. You got to vote. Polling doesn't mean anything if people don't come out to vote. All right. Listen, tonight it will be yours truly, Natalie Benzavinga, Lenny McAllister, and so honored to have longtime KDK television anchor Stacey Smith, who is the host of a rising platform on social media entitled Around the Table with Stacey Smith. He will join us at the top of every hour, beginning after local news at eight. I'll be on the radio at six and I'll be waiting for each and every one of you. But don't forget throughout the day into the evening and we're going to be there past midnight. It is KDKA 100.1 FM AM 1020 for comprehensive coverage of election 2024. And don't forget to get the Odyssey app. It's free. A-U-D-A-C-Y. Download it on your smartphone. So wherever you go, we can go at KDKA. From St. Francis of Cabrini in Beaver County, along with State Rep. Josh Kale, it's Rob Pratt. Enjoy the rest of your day. Go vote.